Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a digital artist and photographer, and welcome to a brand new uh, tutorial in our Photoshop tutorial series. We're going to be including one of these every single day for the month of June, and so I hope that you've enjoyed the ones that we have so far. I did want to remind you that if you are wanting more in-depth Photoshop tutorials, please visit my Gumroad account. I have over 20 tutorials, and these are hours and hours long, and all of the PSD files are included, and uh, as well as the stock images, and uh, I think you'll get a lot out of it if you uh, are interested in learning more about Photoshop. But what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at colors and color theory, and uh, I'll try to explain this very complicated concept as quickly as I can. Uh, I'm going to be using this image right here. I created this image last year. I painted the uh, ocean waves coming off of my wife's dress here and uh, pretty much ended up with a picture that looks like this. But what I want to do is I want to do a little bit of color uh, tweaking here so that there's more harmony between the background and uh, the foreground. So this blue that's going on right here in the water and this red that's going on in the background, I feel like that they could blend a little bit better and I wanna show you my approach to doing that. The first thing I would like to do is show you a uh, color wheel. If you've never used a color wheel, these things are awesome. Uh, go online and just uh, Google color wheel and you can just put one of these right in Photoshop and it's, it's very helpful. But what we want to do is we want to look at uh, color pairs. And so when we look at color pairs, uh, you essentially want to pick any color that's on this uh, color wheel. So for example, let's pick this pink color. Uh, so if you had a pink color in your foreground, for example, uh, the, the color that you want in the background so that they are complementing each other would be this light green color. This would be a color pair. These two colors right here pair together very well. And essentially what they are are they're, they're opposites. They're inverts, you know, inverted uh, colors. So if I was to take this pink color right here and then control I on my keyboard and invert it, uh, you're going to get that green color. And so this is pretty much what the color wheel is. is it's, um, it's opposites. It's inverted colors here, and they work together very well. So how does that help us for this picture? Well, what we want to do is we want to sample the color uh, that's in the background. So this color in the background, I've got this desert here. I've got these clouds. It's kind of the same color all throughout uh, the background, all I want to do is go up to my eyedropper tool and just pick the color that's in here. So uh, find a place that's pretty pretty good and saturated. I'll just pick one of these colors right up here. And uh, let's see what that color is. I'm just gonna take a brush and I'm just gonna draw that color. So that's the color, that's the very prominent color in the background. Now, if you invert that color, you control I on the keyboard you get this color right here. And so this is the opposite. Or if you would look at the uh, color wheel, this is kind of the um, the inverse here. So if I was to take this color right here and bring it over here to this blue, you can see that it's gonna match up these oranges and reds over here. And so this color blue is uh, what I want the dress to be. This is what I want this water to be. I don't want it to be this nice royal blue color. I want it to be this color right here. So what color is this? And so another good tip to do is get your eyedropper tool out again and just select that color. And you can see that this blue in your, um, your color um, dialog box here, your blue is actually more of a teal. You can see that it's in this part right here. The dress right now is more like up in here in this, this deep blue color, but the color that we want is more of a teal color, more of an aqua color. So what I want to do to fix this is I want to do a selective color adjustment layer, selective color. And all I want to do is I want to uh, select my blues and I want to adjust my blues so that they are more of the teal or aqua uh, colors. And what Photoshop calls that is cyan. And so in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make sure that Photoshop adjusts all these blue colors and makes it more cyan. So I'm gonna take my blues and pull the cyan over to the right, and that's gonna make it a lot more uh, cyan. Actually, let's go to the cyans and pull the cyans over here. There we go, that's doing that a little bit more, but that's not quite where we want to go because we need to start adding the yellows as well. So let's add some yellows in here to the blues, and let's also add some yellows to the cyans. Oh, don't add too much, that's more of a green, uh, but something kind of like that. Now. By just adding some cyans and yellows to our blue and cyan channels, 
we get this effect. You can see how the ocean wave is now uh, this different color. It's more of a cyan color, and it's not that, that rich royal blue color. Now, these two colors together, they pair a lot better. These are considered complementary colors, and this is the, the overall color grade that I would be the most happy with. This blue, this teal, matched with that reddish orange in the background, and uh, I think that is a good pairing. But use your color uh, wheels here, and uh, take advantage of them, and uh, see if you can pair some colors up, and just kind of uh, tone, you know, hone those, um, those specific hues, and so you get a really creative and visually appealing uh, image. But guys, that's all I've got for today. Hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and we got a brand new one coming tomorrow, so be sure to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And guys, I'll see you at the next video.